When you go out then for your first jobs, breadth is also a reoccurring theme. You want to get as much experience across the baseline as you can because that's going to prepare you for opportunities in the future. You know, it's really interesting because a tech hub is a combination of really tangible things like access to great industry, access to good talent, um, access to universities, but then there's the intangibles. And that's kind of the place that people want to come, they want to live, and that is more of the culture. What's the core of that city like? What's attracting it? And so Seattle has a lot of those characteristics, um, but so does Bristol. And it's exciting because these tech hubs started out in the beginning, London, Silicon Valley, New York, but now there's a proliferation of these secondary cities that are coming up that I believe are gonna be the tech hubs of the future. Well, you know, the fourth industrial revolution, we're kind of in the middle of it right now, and part of that is, it's why things feel up in the air a lot. When you go through revolutionary change, things feel very out of sync a lot of times, but that's because everything is changing. What excites me about what we're seeing right on the tip of the iceberg now are some of the technologies that are going to be amazing. Artificial intelligence, virtual reality, where you're going to actually be able to take things and make them come to life in a way that we never ever imagined. And that's going to happen through robotics um, that all of a sudden you might use a robotic arm to move. But you can imagine if it starts to get inputs from Wi-Fi and then you can actually connect it to the World Wide Web. The amount of ability that's going to happen when we bring together everything from what's in the virtual space to what's in the real space to what is unimaginable in health, in financial services, is going to be a very exciting time. I have to say, I wish that I was a student in these times because you are going to make your mark on the world in a way that is not even imaginable now. Um, but it's going to take a different thing than when I was a student, because what it's going to take is for you to come out and one, be developed on both your right side of your brain and your left side of your brain. What do I mean by that? We had the luxury um, when I was going through careers that you had marketing or creative careers. On the one hand, you might have accounting, engineering, and more left-brain careers. The jobs of the future and the excitement is all of that is going to come together. So being able to develop yourself with breadth becomes really, really important. When you go out then for your first jobs, breadth is also a reoccurring theme. You want to get as much experience across the baseline as you can because that's going to prepare you for opportunities in the future. So build a strong base of breadth. Never ever say it's not my job. Never ever say I don't think I can do it, because you can. And then the opportunities to make a huge difference in the world are going to be unlimited for you.